combo microphone system I want to check out. I got it for like $98 on Amazon. It was 20% off. And I think the quality of this system exceeds the price of it. I think it's a very well-built system. So I'm going to test it out here today. I'm here at Eastern County Regional Park, Baltimore County. And it's a windy day. It's 32 degrees out. It's windy, so uh, you can't get any worse conditions than this if you're doing a wedding ceremony outside. Uh, it's pretty windy, and uh, wind's kind of all over the place. Um, and it's cold, 32 degrees. So I'm going to compare this to my older Shore BLX system. Give you a, a look here. So that's the Phoenix Pro. Uh, it is 500 and uh, I believe 504 megahertz to 590 megahertz. It has 30 selectable UHF channels. And this is the Shore BLX. I think most people know the Shore BLX. It's their uh, I guess their beginning line for uh, late model uh, wireless microphones. This is the combo unit. I've had this for seven years. You can see it has a lot of use on it. I've kept the sticker on the front to kind of keep it protected, but that's coming apart. I've probably done at least, I don't know, 50 wedding ceremonies with this. At least 50 wedding ceremonies with this system. Um, and I've had issues with this lav pack, especially in the last couple of years it's not it's it, it, it has dropouts um, and it's hard to find a good channel a lot I don't know if the circuitry in the pack is getting old and just wearing out I feel like that's what's going on it still works but it's just not good anymore it's not good so you, maybe you'll you'll see that in the video today last couple of wedding ceremonies I had some issues with it um, and I, I, that's the reason why I bought this system. I'm not going to use this anymore for weddings. It's just, I don't have faith in it anymore. The handheld is still good. It's still pretty good. Um, but I'll be honest, this is a, the BLX line is, is like a plastic, uh, handheld. It's not a metal handheld like my old PGX lineup was. Uh, and this has metal. It's a thin metal, but it's a metal base. The bottom capsule is plastic but it's metal it's it's actually nicely built um, and it came with this carry case another thing that the BLX uh, doesn't come with um, so we're gonna test this out today I have it into my Bose S1 Pro which I use for almost all my wedding ceremonies unless I have a big one I'm doing but uh, for every 20 25 wedding ceremonies I'm doing I'm doing uh, almost all of them Maybe one in every 25, I bring a bigger sound system, but for the majority of wedding ceremonies I do, I just use this speaker, and it's plenty. Um, so uh, let me get set up here, and then we'll do a sound check and a range test here in this big parking lot. All right, here we go. This is the handheld Phoenix Pro. Dual combo system. I believe it's the 5200B. All right. PTU 52. This is how it sounds. Getting a lot of wind here. I think it sounds really good as far as your voice through the microphone. So I'm just going to back up here. Continue to back up. And we'll see how far I can go with this handheld. Of course, this is in a wide open parking lot. I'm about two miles from a state airport. So I'm wondering if I was going to get any kind of interference over here. I'm still going. Still going. You can see how far away I am. I'm going to continue to walk see how far I can go before I lose reception. I am clearly about 150 feet away now. Maybe even 180. It still has a pretty good signal. This is crazy. <laughs> I think the box says 200 foot distance. This is over 200 feet. 
This is pretty amazing. I'm gonna keep walking. This is a $98 wireless microphone system that came with a carry case and a lavalier unit. I'm still walking and I can still hear it coming through the speaker. This is absolutely insane. And it's windy out. I mean, this is amazing. This is an extraordinary value for the money. It even came with a little windscreen to put over the handheld. Here I am. I can still hear it coming through. That Bose speaker way over there. This is awesome. I think I found my new ceremony microphone system. This might beat out the shore. I can still hear it coming through the speaker. Look how far away I am. I'm going well into the field. And I think that I can still hear it. Yep, I can still hear it through the system. I don't know how far this is, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> You're never going to need this much distance between you and the microphone user, but look how far I am. Hello, hello. It's still coming through my speaker. I'm well over 300 feet away from that, guys. This is absolutely impressive. Walking well into the field. Hello, hello, hello. It's still coming through. I don't know how far this will go, but I'm not going to keep walking. <laughs> I think I've gone far enough, and I can still hear it coming through the speaker. Look how far away I am from where I was. Absolutely amazing. Now I'm going to go back and test the lavalier unit. All right, now I have the lavalier with the Phoenix Pro system set up. I do have it on my outside, not underneath a the coat just to give it a clear line of signal, hopefully. Even though I know at most wedding ceremonies we tuck that thing under a suit jacket or a robe, which is a big pain in the butt. But uh, here we go. Test, 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 test one, two. Now obviously this isn't quite as loud as the handheld, but it sounds good. It has a pretty good sound to it. I think the sound quality is great through it. It's not tinny at all. It's a quality sound. Sorry, my gloves are getting in the way here. It's still coming through. There you go. It sucks that it's 32 degrees out today. I don't mind the wind too much, but it would be nice if it was like 50 or 55. So here we go. I can hear some static on the uh, lavalier. A little bit of static coming through every now and then. A little hiss. So now, as you can see, I'm a good 130 feet away, 140. And I have done wedding ceremonies where I was as far away from where the actual officiant and the bride and groom sat. Standing behind 150 guests. This is still coming in. It's pretty good. So it's back up here. I'm going to keep walking. Is it still coming through? Is it still coming through? Yes. It is coming through. It is coming through on the sound system. I'm going to continue to keep walking. So, I doubt I'll ever do a ceremony where I'm this far away from where the actual ceremony is. This is just ridiculous. Still coming through, so I am pretty confident in using this lavalier microphone with an officiant at a ceremony. Now, I can hear it hissing a little bit 
as I'm walking away. It's still coming through the speaker. I mean, this is, this is about 200 feet away, which is what the box says is its range. And I'm still walking. It's still coming through the speaker. Let's see if I can make it to the field. Hello, 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 hello. All right, so it's really starting to cut in and out right about here. So the handheld has a more powerful transmitter in it. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, it's cutting out. So it didn't make it to the field, but with the lav mic, this box is still pretty good. I mean, it got well over, it got to 200 feet, maybe a little further than 200 feet. And now I have this crazy wind I'm dealing with. I think my nose is going to fall off. So that is the lav box test. Next I'm going to try the shore microphones and see if there's any difference. All right, everybody, this is the Shore BLX handheld mic. So we will see how far this goes. The big difference between the Shore, I can tell you, and the Phoenix Pro is that the Shore BLX is a more sensitive microphone. It can pick up the voice from further away. And it has a great sound to it. A little more flat sounding than the uh, Phoenix Pro. But still a great sound. Alright, so let's take a walk, see how far this BLX system will go. And it's not a new BLX system. I've had this in use for seven years. So I don't know if seven years of use would degrade the electronics at all. I feel like it has in my lab unit. But the handheld still works great. Still going? I'm pretty certain that this will make it to the grass. I would hope so. It's still coming through the speaker. And this is just a clear distance test. The odds of you ever needing this much throw in your wireless signal is probably never. And this is a combo Shore BLX unit that I'm pretty sure I paid $5.99 for versus that other system that was $98. Big difference in price. It's still coming through. Whoa. Yep, okay, it's still coming through the speaker. It's starting to it's starting to cut in and out though. This is not going quite as far as the Phoenix Pro did. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. It's cutting in and out. Yep. Oh yeah. This is as far as it got. It's cutting in and out pretty bad. So this distance on the short DLX system is not as good as the Phoenix Pro. $600 microphone, Shure PG58, and this is a similar range, I want to say it's the H9 or the H10 band, I know it's 500 some megahertz, it's like 572 and up I think. So it's a similar band range in the UHF bandwidth, and the Phoenix Pro's handheld beat out the Shore BLX handheld, as far as distance goes. Now, I will say, as far as sound quality, Shore's got it down. The Phoenix Pro is still very good, though. Very good sound out of that Phoenix Pro. I can also say that the BLX handheld since it's a plastic handheld microphone, it does have some carrying noise. 
I've witnessed people using it for speeches and having a little carry noise out of it. It's not as good as my PGX system. I have a PGX system too. And I would say that the PGX system is built a little better than the BLX. I think my PGX system was built back in 2007. So I'm going to try the Lavalier with the Shore BLX combo system and see how that performs. All right, so now I have the Shore BLX. Definitely a more sensitive microphone than the Lavalier on the Phoenix Pro unit. I have it down here. So there's no interference from being under any clothing. Test one, two, test, test, test. We'll start walking back here. We'll see how, th how this works. Hello, test one, two, test, test. It's not even working well. Test one, two, test, test, test. Test, test, test. Fresh pair of batteries on it too. Oh, there we go. All right, so if I stand, It sounds fine. If I start moving, it might lose the signal. Let's see. Test one, two, test, 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 yep. Test one, two. Yeah, I can't trust this shore lav mic unit anymore. I think the circuitry in it's not good. See, it's just going in and out. Set a clear channel on it and it's just giving me issues. I'm only about 40 feet away. This is a $600 microphone system versus one that's, I think, regular price $120, $122 on Amazon, and I got it for $98 on sale. And uh, as far as the lav unit's concerned, I think the Phoenix Pro is better than the BLX. I mean, this is having some weird feedback issue. Um, I've always had some minor problems with this, even when it was brand new. But it's gotten worse over the years. It's probably seen about 50, 60 events. Maybe 75. Maybe as high as 75 as far as wedding ceremonies. I do have some other lavalier microphones that I've used over the years as well. But uh, yeah, I won't be using this anymore. I'll either use my Sennheiser or this Phoenix Pro system moving forward. So that's a wrap. That is the Phoenix Pro 52 versus the Shure BLX combo system. Just a demonstration of distance. This just doesn't sound good at all. Let me see if I can go any further. We'll see. Nope, it's cutting out. It's not even going through the speaker. I'm not even, I'm, I'm like, it's, it's a, as a 40 foot distance. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Not using this lav mic anymore. It served its purpose. So there we go. That's a in-depth uh, test of the Phoenix Pro versus the Shore BLX. Man, that just does not sound good. And finally, we have a quick bonus for you. Shore PGX system. I've had this microphone system for probably 16 years, 15 years. I think I bought it in 2008. I think it used to be about a $400 system. Made of metal. It's a PGX4. And we're going to test the distance on this one. It still has a great sound to it. I have had the occasional dropout with this one over the years at events. Usually like a one second dropout and it'll come right back while the speech maker is making a speech. 
I'm hopeful that this has a longer range than the BLX system does. And all these systems are 10 milliwatt output. So they should be fairly comparable to each other. All right, I'm about 150 feet away now. Let's just keep walking here. As far as wireless microphones go, I knew for a lot of years, this was considered like the best one for vocalists and singers. The PGX wireless from Shore. sound out of this is just great. All right, still going through, still going through the speaker system. Um, I feel like it's starting to drop out a little bit. All right, still coming through. Let's see if I can make it to the grass. I can still hear it coming through the speaker. We're getting there. Test, one, two, test, test. Here comes that wind. I can still hear it coming through the speaker, just barely. So the PGX system outperforms the BLX as far as distance. And it's right up there with the Phoenix Pro. Test, test. Now I can't hear it, so... Test, test. Either I'm not able to hear it through the speaker because I'm too... Oh, I can still hear it. I can still hear the echo. So here we go. I've gone far enough. That's well over 300 feet. So short PGX for the win, as far as a good handhold system. You can still find them out there in good condition. They're totally worth buying. So that's a wrap. That wraps up the sound tests that I was doing today. I hope this video helps everyone determine uh, the quality of the Phoenix Pro system versus the shore units. I didn't see anything like this microphone shootout I just did on YouTube. So um, I hope it helps a lot of you. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're interested in DJ gear and my DJ video logs that I put up. I'm sure I'll put up some other tech reviews of various gear that I buy in the future as well. Thanks for watching and I hope this video was helpful for you. Have a great day.